What was Osive incident at your high school? The school got banned from the local aquarium for life because some students ended up carving it into $2,000 worth of glass. Here we go. In high school I did the morning announcements with two other guys in front of a green screen every Friday on camera. We chose the background. We were given a lot of liniency because this was in the early 2000s when technology was a little more simple. In the AV room. We controlled every TV in the high school of over 1000 kids. When Christmas was close, we were told don't do anything X Mars related because not everyone celebrates it. So the last announcement before the holidays the screen comes on and in the background there is a sleigh ride video and the three of us pop up and yell Merry Christmas. As loud as we can dressed in Christmas costumes. Now again, the school cannot turn this off. Only we can. It just so happened that the superintendent was in the building that day, saw the video and freaked out. It turned into this whole ordeal and we were almost suspended for 3 days. They stopped letting us do the announcements until there was a petition signed by the school to let us do it again because we were actually pretty ducking funny and most of the gags we pulled were innocent. Like eating creamed corn out of the can in less than 10 seconds if enough cans were donated to the food drive. When they let us come back, they said we couldn't make jokes and we had to have a neutral background. So, we went forward with our plan. When the announcements turned on for the first time since our near suspension, we had no background, just the green screen. Me and the other guys just wore white t-shirts. We read the announcements without as much as winking minus the occasional moan. It would be like, today for lunch the school is serve. Uwen. Ugh. Um. Pizza. Serve in Jeep is A. At first it was minimal but at the end of it it sounded like we were having a mini orgy. We read the last announcement said goodbye and then started acting like the announcements were over and like we didn't know we were on camera. We stood up in our boxer shorts and walked off camera. After about 10 seconds, our buddy Scott stood up from under the table, wiped his lips off, took a big swallow and walked off of camera. That time we were suspended. TL. Doctor I pretended to get a blowjob on school camera in front of over 1000 kids. A kid ran into the trophy case and his arm went right through it, severing an artery. He screamed and ran down the halls, spraying blood everywhere. Everybody in class came out and saw this. Shocked. He passed out and they managed to get him to the hospital just in time to save his life. But from the amount of blood, you would have sworn he was dead. Kid passed out drunk on the train tracks the night before graduation. Friends left him there. He died. Went to school with a girl who was just perfect, incredibly kind, brilliant, varsity everything, gorgeous. This poor girl was sitting behind a deep fryer at a pep rally or something similar, and someone leaned on the table and emptied the whole thing on her lap, legs, and chest. After nearly a week of suffering, she died and it was kind of like my entire class of 500 plus just withered. Guy threatened to burn down the school. No one took him seriously. Guy burnt down the school. We had two. Freshman year my biology teacher was caught with a student in a car with fogged windows. Senior year a group of kids were plastered and threw up in class first period. There was a local liquor store that would sell them vodka in the morning. They would start the day with screwdrivers. One day they had too much. They were suspended for a week. But came back. The liquor store is still open. I guess they were fined. The newspapers called them the sunrise sippers. I posted this before. Sorry for repeating. But. Three kids drowned. All were on the high school swim team and they went to the same summer camp together. During a hike at the camp. One of their camp friends fell in a river and was swept away. All three jumped after him to rescue him. Thing is. It had just rained and the river was swelled. Michael Phelps in his prime would have drowned fighting the current of a swelled river. They never had a chance. I found out from the news. Stunned and sick to my stomach. They were very nice guys. So many bomb threats. This was a semi-rural school. And they always came in within an hour of the end of the day. Wound up being a 9th grader who just wanted to get out of school early. She did it basically every other day or so for several weeks before she was caught and expelled. Several of us took to keeping frisbees in our bags so we would have something to do while waiting for the bomb dogs to clear the building. 
a student got struck and killed in a hit and run leaving school one day, like 10 feet away from the property. Someone decided covering the stairs in butter and oil was a good idea for end of year school prank. Someone pulled the fire alarm 40 something times in 3 days, looks at rest of thread, with its thrilling tales of threesomes, samurai swords, and so much hedonistic stupidity, till my high school was boring as duck. We had a rash of fights, so one of the assistant principals made an announcement that there would be no more fighting in the hallways because this isn't Fight City High. We made fun of the Fight City High thing for months. It was even in our valedictorian speech. At prom these two seniors had six in the middle of the dance floor and had everyone from a ring around them to keep the adults from breaking it up. Was disgusting. My high school collapsed. Yep. Under the weight of a hit ton of snow during my sophomore year. Luckily we were all home. Snowed out. Had to finish out our high school years in the afternoon evening. Sharing facilities with the local middle school. Someone hacked the school Wi-Fi and changed the name to school shooting tomorrow and the school was on lockdown that entire day. Three upperclassmen drank Ipecac shortly before getting into the lunch line. Their plan was to time it so that once they got to the actually to the lunch ladies they'd starting violently throwing up all over the food. They were hoping that their vomit would start a chain reaction of people seeing vomit. And as a result vomit themselves. This was just after the Ipecac episode of Family Guy aired. That's where they got the idea. Their plan sort of succeeded. I was already at my lunch table when it happened. I heard screaming coming out of the food service area and kids running out. Apparently what had happened it only one of them managed to puke on the food. The other had puked on all of the lunch trays stacked up on a cart. The third guy took a little longer before he popped. He was on the floor in the food service area. Going through severe stomach pain. As the other two were after they were vomiting. My mom, a teacher, told me that he's the one that told the principal what they had done. And that he vomited all over the bed in the nurse's office shortly thereafter. As for the chain reaction. There were two students that also threw up during the initial cascade of vomit. So doubt it sort of worked. A student in the year above me was raped and murdered and dumped in a nearby field during school hours. Edit. The news never picked up on the whole social media post. Not sure why it was just never reported on. A friend showed me that when we found that a student had been murdered. Here is a link for anyone wondering. Someone it in a cup and threw it across the lunchroom at a dean. Still have no clue why he did it. Some guy claimed to have a nude from one of the prettiest girls at our school. It was really just a punster with an apparent strong resemblance. Someone was interested in seeing it and offered a picture of their girlfriend. Realizing the power of that picture. This guy and some of his friends started trading that picture for nude pictures of girls all over school. Many relationships ended. So much conflict. I made myself a backless halter neck top. It slipped around and showed one entire boob in the schoolyard. And I didn't notice for around 10 seconds or so. I wasn't wearing a bra. The school talked about it for a while. I went to a boarding school in Vermont that was made up of a bunch of kids who had been asked to leave other schools. Despite our delinquent pedigree we had very minimal supervision. Some of the things that went on there. Some students lived in log cabins and other primitive shacks across campus. They used wood stoves for heat. About one would go up in flames every couple of years. The last time it happened two students were burned pretty badly. Rampant drug use. Cohabitation and student teacher liaisons were commonplace. Occasionally someone would bring in a large quantity of acid and the entire school would trip. School bus caught fire on the beach during an annual field trip to Mexico. The school finally closed when a student committed suicide by hanging himself in a prominent place. In 2010, my high school made national news when a Facebook group called, City Name, Rats was created. It was basically like a burn book from Mean Girls, people would post and submit truths about other students. It was pretty quickly shut down and privileges were revoked for those who were involved. A teacher, that was tall and looked like a caveman, pushed a student to the ground. The student attacked the teacher but the teacher got fired. My senior year, this math teacher got caught sleeping with a fellow senior and of course he went to jail, and many more. 
Back in 2001, my school had an undercover officer come into the school to pretend to be a student for about 3 months to try and buy drugs and in the end 16 people were charged, 5 of them were students. High school senior had a full ride scholarship to a nice university with his skills in soccer, now he's in jail for 38 years stabbing someone to death over a girl. Guys at my high school started a prom draft. Basically a huge group of guys got a draft number and then could pick from a pool of girls that was pre-selected to qualify for the draft. My memory of it is a bit foggy, but there may have actually been a combine. They would have a draft day with trades and everything. They had a big location to meet at and dressed up in suits, and had projectors. This determined who the girl has to go to prom with basically. If a girl rejected a guy that picked her then no one else in that group would be able to ask her I copyright a ring believe. This got all over the local news. And it was an ordeal for a while. A couple of kids stole some potassium from the chemistry classroom. They searched the entire school's backpacks the next day trying to find it. Then those kids went and tried putting it in a lake in one of their backyards. Potassium reacts with water. Explosively. One of the kids had serious burns. And they started a small fire. It didn't do any major damage. But they did get sued. I think by the town. For the damage. Eventually the story kind of expanded from there as people retold it. The kids got locally famous for blowing up a lake. So I went to a catholic school. Two kids had six in the janitor's closet. Only the girl got in trouble though. Not sure how that happened. But she wasn't allowed to go to the bathroom during class afterwards. Few guys set off rocket bombs near another student's house and wrecked their garage. Police were involved. But I don't think they were arrested. This happened a few years before I went there. But a female teacher was having a sexual relationship with a male student. She got arrested. And her uncle still teaches there today. A popular substitute teacher was going to be offered a job. But then administration found out he was engaged to another man. The bishop said they couldn't hire him so quite a few students and a couple teachers staged a walkout in support. This one got on the local news. So that was fun. There was one time a group of kids had cut class to smoke weed in the bathroom and just hang out I guess. Well it somehow escalated to them doing stupid things and eventually led to one kid taking his own it and throwing, sliding, it down the hallway like a ducking bowling ball making a giant it streak on the floor, while some another kid ran alongside it, and just to clarify, it wasn't any regular old poop, it was like semi solid mushy diarrhea type it, the kid just cupped it in his hand like a ducking bowling ball and dripped wet poop as he walked, and slid it down the hallway. That half of the school smelled like it for a few days. We had a day during spirit week where we could dress like superheroes. A girl made a Wonder Woman costume out of different colored duct tape. Out of nothing but duct tape. It left very little to the imagination. We didn't get to dress up for spirit week anymore. In 8th grade, a boy fingered a girl at a presentation in the auditorium. They both told people about it all day until lunch. Where the boy's brother reminded him that the girl was his first cousin. Neither of them understood why people were laughing at them. We had a couple of hockey players hotbox their hotel room and had a gangbang with one of their girlfriends in the hotel bathroom on an out of town hockey trip. Classic. Some chicken driver's ed ran into a bus while just leaving the parking lot. Kid bet another kid he wouldn't do on the floor of the library. Kid did it. Won the bet. And got suspended. Oh man. In my high school chemistry class. My football coach chem teacher was demonstrating how raw sodium reacts with water. Well after the first couple of light shows when just a sliver of the stuff hits the water in the beaker. We proceeded to convince him that a big chunk of sodium being tossed into the beaker was a good idea. For those of you who don't know. This experiment only works when the slivers of sodium float on top of the water in the beaker. The big chunk we convinced him to attempt the experiment proceeded to sink to the bottom. Before we knew it, he dove to the floor and the beaker exploded, sending shards of hot glass into the classroom. Several students ended up in the hospital and the ceiling tile started on fire, was quickly extinguished by the classroom fire suppression system. No one was seriously hurt outside of some minor burns and stitches. Teacher then became our biology teacher. 
two students had sex in the school bathroom. Also there was a fight once and it became a headline in the local newspaper. And two times students put their it on the walls and we were banned from going there for a few months. The school did the project prom as an alternative to after prom parties. The idea was to keep the kids away from underage drinking. And therefore safe. It wasn't popular at first. But after a few years. It actually started to get a good turnout. Then one year. A girl got her leg caught in the filter in the hot tub. Which held her underwater. And she drowned. JROTC teacher was in a sexual relationship with a junior. In the summer before her senior year they had sex a lot and went on dates. She even posted pictures of them together on Twitter. When summer was coming to an end he wanted to stop seeing her since school would take more of their time and he was married with kids. This made the girl angry so she went to the principal and told him everything. The JROTC teacher was arrested, I still remember seeing him walking with cuffs on. Had a race war. Group of mostly Arabic students made fun of a group of mostly African students, including calling them racial slurs. Their response? Almost 50 man fight on our school's wheelchair ramp. We had three assemblies and had to fill out a survey on racial discrimination after that. Note, we had a big wheelchair ramp. It led to our second floor and into our trades wing. This one girl was really fat. And she was just one of those people who you knew didn't make the best of choices. Well one day someone heard screams coming from one of the girls bathrooms and it turned out she was giving birth. Her friend was there helping her and apparently they were going to try to flush it or get rid of it somehow so she could hide it from her parents. She was just so fat nobody knew she was pregnant all that time. And nobody uses that bathroom anymore. Third year. 14 YO threw a firework at a 6th year, 18 yo. So the 6th year got him after school. Turns out the 3rd year's dad was a huge heroin dealer and him and 2 other massive older guys in their 40s came down to the school the next day at lunch and left the 6th year in a bad bad way. I remember it happened outside the local shop and everyone had formed a circle around and it continued for about 4 minutes. A dude who graduated tried to blow up a car bomb at a military base for ISIS thankfully it was all a sting so no one was hurt. Edit. Here's a link giving the full story. In senior year near graduation, this guy who was known for being weird was caught masturbating in the parking lot by two female students. He yelled at them. Hey ladies. I could use some help over here. They immediately to an administrator and he was arrested moments later. I didn't find out about this until a friend sent me a link to an article about it. We all knew he was weird. But I never thought he was ducking stupid. Friend and co-captain of the soccer team brutally murdered his parents. His mom was my English teacher. A dude showed up to the talent show in gym shorts. His act was putting the microphone up to his shorts and jumping up and down to make his D clap. He was quickly escorted off stage while all the teachers attempted to quiet an auditorium full of teenagers laughing. It happened after I graduated. But my closest mentor and former teacher got addicted to meth and heroin and on one of his benders was walking around his house with a gun. Posting on snapchat about duck da police. White dude. He was posting it to his public story so any of his followers could see it. And plenty of us didn't call the cops. He got into a 6 hour standoff with them that night barricaded inside of his house. He no longer works at my high school. All we had was a girl who brought a dildo into school. It was in her school bag and some boys found it. From what I remember they were playing football people's bags and when they kicked hers. The dildo started vibrating. The boys then liberated it from her bag and proceeded to charge around the school with the vibrating dildo in hand. I didn't witness the event but it was a small school and very soon everyone knew. I did pity the girl and how embarrassed she must have felt but then again. Why bring that to school? The school stormed the nearest busy street after pep rally to avoid going back to class and held up traffic. This caused extra precautions at pep rally and some punishments for the seniors who caused it. A goth kid would just read a book at lunch alone. Huge kid. Built like a tank. A scrawny freshman would pick on him because the guy would never react. The freshman one day poured food onto his boom as he was reading it. The goth calmly stands up, grabs the kid by the back and slams him so hard into the table it shattered. Not split. 
shattered. Teacher came over and the goth cracked his neck and said he was going for a walk and left. Freshman had broken collarbone and ton of busted teeth. A true legend that no one mess with ever again. My classmate's younger sister made a Facebook post about burning down the school. It was obviously a joke and I doubt she had any intention of actually doing it. But someone reported it to the office. I got to school the next morning. And well over half of the teachers were hanging out in the commons area, lunch room auditorium and the main room of the building where all the students gather before classes start. Which was very unusual. It's a small school. About 350 kids. And there were usually only one or two staff members out there to supervise on a normal day. I also remember seeing the chief of police very briefly that morning. We all knew something was wrong. But didn't know what. My friends and I pestered some of the teachers and they eventually told us they had been a threat. Although they didn't tell us what it was. Heard through the grapevine later what had actually happened. And that the girl who reported it was threatened within an inch of her life. Friend sister got suspended. And we had a regular police presence until the end of the year. Two of them. One of them probably not limited to mine. But. One. After finals. Papers thrown everywhere. Everyone emptied their backpacks and binders and threw paper everywhere. School next year tried to ban backpacks. Did not go as intended when everyone was late because our lockers literally hadn't been serviced since the 60s when they were put in and the locks jammed all the time. 2. Another finals thing. But a group of kids went running through the campus ass naked and the administrators had to run around trying to chase them down. They made a big huge deal about it but the kids were never caught. We lived in a slightly calmer time. But here goes. There were brothers. One grey behind the other. Who were a pair of genuine assholes. And the funny thing was. They were assholes and didn't deserve to be. Both were terribly dumb. And one of them was maybe 90 pounds. Soaking wet. Anyway. They had a lot of fun in pay. They would do things like launch themselves in the air at unsuspecting people and knocking them over. They also liked pulling down people's shorts as they were running. There were more than a few sprained wrists and ankles. And I remain shocked that there weren't more serious injuries. Anywho. One day. They cornered a kid who was really nice. But also quite slow. And they pulled down his pants and kicked him in the balls as hard as they could. It made him vomit. And he had to go to the hospital. He missed school for several weeks after that. Mostly because he was too embarrassed afraid to return. After all of this. They were finally punished. They got one day's worth of in-school suspension. Turns out that their dad was friends with the pay teacher's dad. Who held a lot of sway with the admins. They continued their idiocy until the older brother graduated a year later. Without his brother there. The younger one faded into the woodwork. The fun part is that the pay teacher would go on to become an administrator himself. Hi. I'll be your old fart today. And I don't know what the incident was. It was 1956 at Coral Gables High in Miami. Janet Reno was a classmate. The school had service clubs which were make-believe fraternities sororities because state law forbade the real thing in high schools. That is. They did everything frats do except name themselves with Greek letters. I was your basic nerd. Not invited to join one. One day I showed up to find an uproar going on. Girls were wearing clothes pins instead of their club pins. And were mightily pissed off. Every question I attempted was deflected. I finally managed to gather that something had happened. And the principal had ordered all the girls clubs closed. After school. They held a tearful funeral and buried their club symbols. The boys clubs. Of course. Were unaffected. Because the clubs were important for their development. Yada yada. Never got anybody to tell the story. A kid died in a helicopter crash while on vacation in Hawaii. Someone filmed the crash on their phone and put it on YouTube. So everyone in the school ended up watching him die. It wasn't graphic at all. But still kind of weird. Edit. Here's a news article. And here's the video. This happened to my. Former. Best friend and he still complains about how it's ruined his reputation in our city. Despite us graduating a decade ago. So this dude was into all kinds of drugs. Unfortunately for him. He's one of those people that develop schizophrenia. Or schizophrenia like symptoms. After heavy drug use. He became convinced that he was possessed by demons. The history teacher at our high school was super Christian. 
so my friend asked him for help. Their solution was to do an exorcism in his classroom during lunch.